Final preparations are underway in Britain for the funeral of Queen Elizabeth's husband, Prince Philip. He'll be laid to rest at Windsor Castle tomorrow. CBS News' Ian Lee has more details about the service. Every moment is planned to the last detail. From the military parade honoring Prince Philip's service in the Royal Navy to the modified Land Rover he helped design that will carry his coffin. But COVID restrictions have turned what would have been a grand ceremonial service into an intimate one. Only 30 guests, mostly close relatives, will attend the funeral at St. George's Chapel in Windsor. He's getting the funeral he really wanted. Smaller, intimate, no fuss, just like Prince Philip. What he wouldn't have wanted is a family feud. The Queen has already stepped in to settle a squabble over the dress code, ordering all royals to wear suits instead of military uniforms. Prince Harry risked being the odd one out after being stripped of his military titles when he gave up his royal duties. But it's the tension between Prince Harry and his brother, Prince William, making headlines here ahead of the funeral. They'll meet face to face for the first time since the explosive interview with Oprah. Prince Harry told her he felt trapped in his royal role. Trapped within the system, like the rest of my family are. My father and my brother, they are trapped. The palace revealed the brothers won't walk side by side in the funeral procession, but royal watchers expect they will pull together for the family. I have no doubt that William and Harry will put on a united front for their grandfather. A man who served his queen and country for almost 80 years. Ian Lee, CBS News, London. You can watch the ceremonial royal funeral of Prince Philip here on CBS2 live coverage beginning tomorrow morning at 9.30.